In the good old days, researchers used to write their own pre-processing scripts from scratch, piecing together different commands to analyze their data. However, since we usually don't know what we're doing, it's better to use a program that will run all of these pre-processing steps for you, Avni's ubersubject.py. Technically, ubersubject is a graphical user interface that serves as a wrapper. That is, it takes all of the GUI inputs specified by the user and directs it into another wrapper called afniproc.py. This command then generates a large script that contains each of the individual AFNI commands needed to run each step of the pre-processing. To see how it works, first navigate to the sub-await directory. From there, type ubersubject.py, then an ampersand, and press return. For now, look at the first checkbox in the GUI, which is called Analysis Initialization. By default, the data analysis type will be task, as opposed to rest, when there's no task for the subject to do. And the domain is volume, as opposed to surface, which we will discuss in a later chapter on a program called SUMA. The words in the field after processing blocks, T-shift, align, tie rack, bull reg, and so on, probably don't make sense to you right now. Our goal is to learn about what each of these words mean, what pre-processing step they correspond to, and why we do them. Now let's set up our pre-processing script. In the subject ID field, type sub underscore await, and in the group ID field, type flanker. Click on the box next to analysis initialization and remove the regress block. We'll include this later when we run a general linear model for each subject. Then click on the Browse and Add button in the Anatomical Datasets section. Navigate to the Anat directory and select the file sub-08-t1w-nii.gz. Select the Functional Datasets by clicking the Browse Epi button in the Epi Datasets section. Navigate to the Func directory and then hold down Shift and click to select the files sub-08-run1 and sub-08-run2. We are going to ignore the stimulus timing files and symbolic GLTs sections. We'll come back to them when we do regression. The default values in the expected options field are fine as they are. No TRs will be removed. The volume with the least amount of variability will be used as the reference image for alignment. A smoothing kernel of four millimeters will also be applied to the data. Now check the boxes next to extra align options and extra TLRC options. The default cost function, or algorithm that will align the anatomical and functional images, is fine. However, I recommend checking the box next to align use giant move. In case the functional and anatomical images are far away from each other, an option called giant move will bring them into a closer initial alignment. Lastly, in the extra TLRC options field, Choose the template MNI AVG152T1, since MNI templates are becoming the most commonly used templates in the field. When you are done setting up the analysis, you can execute it by clicking from left to right the three icons at the top of the GUI window. The first one looks like a sheet of paper with lines on it. This will generate the AFNI proc PY command that includes everything you specified in the GUI. Click on the icon, and it will return two windows, one listing each of the options that were changed from the defaults and listing each of the inputs, and another showing the code of the AFNI proc py command. Take a look at it to see how the commands and options listed in the AFNI proc py command correspond to the options you entered into the Uber subject py GUI. When you have finished looking over the output windows, close them. Now click on the next icon, a magnifying glass over a sheet of paper. This will execute the AFNI proc py code listed in the previous window and return any warnings or errors that you should be aware of. We don't have any in this case. You'll also see a couple of lines of code specifying how to run the output of this command, which is a file called proc.sub-08. Close the window and go back to your terminal. 
From the sub-08 directory, notice that there is a new directory structure that has been created. Within the directory subject underscore results, you will see another folder, group flanker, and below that, a folder called sub.sub08. Within this directory, there are three files you should be aware of. cmd.ap.sub08 is the AFNI proc py file that was generated by ubersubject.py. Output.cmd.ap.sub08 is the output of AFNI proc py that generates any warnings or errors that you should be aware of. Proc.sub08 is the raw AFNI commands that will perform the actual preprocessing, as compiled by the AFNI proc.py command. We are now ready to run this script. You can either type the code that was listed in output.cmd, or you can simply press the green icon button at the top of the ubersubject.py GUI. If you do the latter, you will see another window open up that shows each command being run and its corresponding output. Preprocessing will take about five minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. When it finishes, you will see the output files from each preprocessing step that was indicated in the processing blocks field. We now turn to reviewing each of these preprocessing outputs, evaluating their quality, and deciding whether there is anything we need to redo.